Hey guys, and welcome to the Catrum Superlight on Drive Club. Now, today we're going to be test driving this car because this is pretty much the only one left to do. And you guys have been requesting a couple of things, including longer videos. So this one's going to be a little bit longer today, and we're going to do something a little bit different. We are going to go and test this thing on our own on a track, and then we're going to go for a race, like we used to. So let's get on with it. So the Caterham Superlight. Am I a fan? Yeah, yeah I'm, a, I'm a, I guess I'm a fan. Um, I'm not like a massive fan. I much, much, much prefer the, uh, you know, the Mar Marussia uh, B2. I can't remember. You know, though, I prefer cars that have a bit more to them. But I do like the Caterham. I think I would like to drive one one day or something like it. Oh, my God. Because I think it would be a lot of fun to drive something like this. So, we have driven, I believe, uh, the Aerial Atom. That's another car I wouldn't mind driving. We, the Aerial Atom was an absolute dreadful car to drive on this game. So, I'm going to see how this compares. And yes, it's exactly the same. It wants to kill us just as much. Thanks, little Caterham Super Light. That is ridiculously light. That's the, in the name. So let's go into some cockpit for this because I really want to try this. Here we go. Oh, this is awesome. I love driving when you go into these type of cars and you've got the helmet cam. It's absolutely spot on. I geared down instead. I did like that, uh, where are we? Bonnet cam. Look at that. That is amazing. Oh, God. <laughs> so I did uh, actually up my force feedback because people were saying that it, it was... I wasn't supposed to drive. I turned the wheel as much as I could, or as much as I did in the last videos. And that was actually on 80% of my force feedback. So now I'll put it on 100 just to see how it different it, we can get it or how it improves us, hopefully. Because it did feel a little bit low, like they were saying I was turning much more than I was able, like they were able to. So, maybe Drive Club is a little bit weak on the force feedback. I've noticed that it is. So, like compared to the crew, because the crew tries to act like literally murder you. So, yeah, I can, I can feel it's a little bit better, but I mean, it's still really light compared to other force feedbacks I've played with. Oh, we're sliding a little bit. It's fine. <laughs> Let's go back on that quickly. That's cool. The way it is, it's literally, the, it's got an extra view. It's first person, but you're not in the helmet cam thing. That's cool. God, this rain does not help at all. Brutal. Oh, God, that's the end of us. Thankfully, this game isn't, like, ridiculously uh, penalizing. Is that me there? That, I think that is me, because we waited on the line for a little bit. I want to see what that blue button, button does. It's usually red buttons, but this time it's blue, so it must be safe, right? All the power! Are these hands actually getting wet? They are. Look at that. Only found in Drive Club, that detail. Only found in Drive Club. Do their hands get wet in Horizon 2? I literally just want to go on Horizon 2 to find that out now. Oh, God! Little Catrum! Does the rain not make you happy? Apparently not. Anyway, so I think I've got the idea of how this car handles. Um, I think I'm most definitely going to go to race it on a dry track. But uh, let's see how we get on with it. Oh my god. Full power out the corner. Not a good idea. Come on, little Catrum. Let's absolutely dominate these Porsches and the BMWs and the Audis and every other car in the race, basically. Move! Don't box me in! You absolute inconsiderate pleb! Right. God, this thing, why did it become so brutal all of a sudden? It's gonna try and shoot everybody as we drive past. Alright. So, I'm gonna switch to- Oi! You cockbag! Switch to the cockpit view and try do this here. On the power, I want to learn how to drive this on the dry. Like, we're on the dry now, so I'm wondering if we can literally just power out of the corners. 
like I normally do, like a great baboon. But if I just power out of the corner, so am I going to slide it? Yes, I am. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to stick to a nice steady pace. Lots of plastic crunching over here. <laughs> Oh god, it's a pregnant Ferrari! Excuse me, pregnant Ferrari! I don't want to hurt you, for obvious reasons. And there's the Zagato. Love driving that car. If you saw the video before, if you didn't, go check it out. I absolutely love that car. Oh, that's a little Caterham Super at the front. It's me and you, buddy. I've almost taken the whole race and we're on the first lap. I'm on semi-pro. I think there's two more ranks above that, so... I think in the future, if we're driving the Caterham, we're going to bump it up a little bit. Because look at this. We're about to eat this Caterham alive. Oh, God. Sorry, Caterham. Can you imagine if games, like, took the actual physics of these cars seriously? Like, the setup of this car and the physics? And the wheels locking in between Caterhams would be absolute hell. I'm actually wanting to, like, find if that's actually been a thing in real life before. Caterham's just locking their wheels together or F1 cars. I'm pretty sure F1 cars bloody do it at some point. No, you don't! I ain't letting you pass. I like the little noise this has got. It's actually quite exciting. And you imagine, like, being in this little cockpit view here. I like how it gets quieter when I'm here. Like, that, that's not how it would be, my friend. It would be just as loud, because, well, you got a helmet on. So I guess that would dampen it. And I'd be listening to uh, some Kanye West. <laughs> I wouldn't really. But I'd be listening to some music. It would be very high intense music. It would not be Kanye West singing about whatever Kanye West sings about himself. That's what he does. Anyway. That Beamer is taking the place of the cage from... I think I'm just gonna... Oh, God, what am I doing? I didn't see that coming. Because <laughs> it said the Beamer... Oh, there he is. I was like, uh, wait, did, did he get overtaken as well? The Zagato seems to have taken his place. Is it the M4? I think it might be. I can't quite tell. My knowledge of knowing cars from every single little bit of the body shape is just not me. I've been told many a times for calling something a dodge ch ch charge. Ch no. no. R ram. No. Raptor. God damn it. That's it. <laughs> I kept calling a raptor a ram. A, ra a ram a raptor. Some something like that. I don't really know. It looked the same on the crew from behind, alright? It, it did. Oh. I, I, I swear he's sticking, he's sticking on me. He's doing a good job, because we managed to fly past everybody, but now we're having a bit of trouble leaving them behind. The logic of... Oh, shit! Come on, reset. Power! God, that was a bad mistake to make now. Being in first place for the whole race, now we've got a bloody Bentley behind us. All right, time for some third person, because people will complain in my face otherwise. Is this Top Gear? Whoa. Oh. Break, break, break. I hate corners that do that. You feel as if it's going absolutely full, flying, fine. All of a sudden, nope. All of a sudden, the corner becomes much sharper than you actually expected. I need to leave these cars in the dust and catch up to that pregnant Ferrari again. Come on! Oh, there's the Caterham. The Caterham's right in front of him. You just can't see him because the, the bloody Ferrari's covering him. Come on! Yes! Ferrari made a mistake of coming on the track with me. <laughs> Move! Yes. Goodbye, Ferrari. Oh, Lord Pop in his face. That, that was that was cheeky, Caterham. Mischief like hell. I swear the cars just start, like, shooting each other. No, you don't, pregnant Ferrari. I know it's at that corner wrong, but you don't need to show me up for it, you twat. Move! Look, now, now you're just getting shunted. You know I was going to go quicker than you, so why did you even bother trying to block my path? Come on! A lot less braking and I could have taken that corner. Come on, we can take all three of them. All three of them. Go! Oh! God! Right, just the beamer left. 
Just the beamer left. Yes. Careful. I don't. I don't want to overdo it because I don't want to muck it up on the last last little stretch here. Last lap. Beamer on my tail. I didn't want to turn too much, and I've gone off. Make sure you're actually on the road, Theo. Do not mess this corner up again. This is the last bit. Don't let him draft you. We need to go on the outside, though. Oh, I see his arrow. He's right behind us. No, he's still he's still quite far back. Come on. Keep it. Keep it, Keystrom. No. 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 <laughs> Well, there we go. <laughs> the cage room is just like the aerial atom in where it wants to ruin your life. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go because I, I know, I, I can't do it.